Kim. Hello. Hey, everybody. It's been a minute. We're out here on the quiet front porch. We are on the quiet front porch. We might need to talk a little bit louder. Can you, can you hear us? Hey, everybody. How it? How are you? Hi, Christy. See that line of mountains back there? They're gorgeous. Yes, we decided that we would give you guys a nice view. We were sitting on the other side and then we, I was like, they probably would love to see the mountains. So, so pretty. Hi, Felicia. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. It's been a little, it's been a minute. It's been a few days. Yeah, we apologize. Been We've been so busy. We can't wait to get off our, our vacation so we could rest. <laughs> no, we're having a great time. Yeah. All right, lots of hearts and thumbs up. Thanks Thank so, much. so much. That just, you guys know, that lets everybody know that we're here. Hello, Felicia from Tennessee. Yeah, Sarah Lee. Hey, Sharon. How are you, sweet friend? Hi, Michelle and Janice and Mary. Um, we always like to at least say hello, take a few minutes and do that while we wait for people to get on. So anyway, is everybody doing well? Good evening, Jean. Jean, Jeannie? Jeannie. Jeannie. Yeah. Let's see. Melinda said they're having a thunderstorm in North Carolina. And we actually have had rain here today. Yeah. It's been a... Everything's kind of wet out there. Yeah. You can see the dark clouds over there by the mountains as well. So... Yeah. Can you guys okay. see all that? Oh, all that. See how beautiful the mountains are back there behind us? So pretty. So we have been playing a lot. We've been playing Uno. Uno tonight. A lot of Uno because it's been raining and we couldn't get out. So anyway, lots of Uno with the grandchildren and they are taking showers, getting their bath, and then we're gonna read stories. So anyway, we just wanted to say hello to everybody. We're so glad that you're here. Good evening, Patsy from East Tennessee. So we'll give you guys kind of an update. How many of you guys saw the video of Daryl riding that dirt bike? Did you love it? I did. I did. And and I actually was, was asked yesterday if I was sore. And, and I'm not sore, but my arms are, they just feel fatigued. They feel tired. Because holding on to that machine, I, I rode several times. Um, A lot. Was that just yesterday? No, that no, was the day Friday. yesterday. It was Friday, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So. so we talked to you guys on Thursday night, I think, when we were walking through the neighborhood with that scary dog. <laughs> yeah. So we thought, we won't walk. We'll just, we'll just sit on the porch. But, um, so for those of you who were watching on Friday, we did, we went out to the Knolls, which is K-N-O-L-L-S. It's and like between Tooele and Wendover, and Wendover, I think, is in Nevada. Oh. Do you know? I, I think it is. Okay. So it's it's way out there. And Thank you, Beth. Go, go, go. And I had never been to, like, the desert like that. Yeah. That was really, really fascinating. Yeah. Just, of course, you can see for miles. Um, everything was really flat. The sand was so interesting. I, I thought it would be easy like to dig in the sand and me and Cooper, it was hard. It was it was really hard and more compact, which is great for riding a dirt bike. Right, yeah. So Daryl grew up, well, you can just tell him, when did you, you had a dirt bike in high school? Yeah, I, I probably have shared this before, but I, I uh, during, high school from the time probably I turned 13 or 14 uh, every evening and every weekend if I was not on a sports team whether I was playing football or basketball those were my only two times off other than that I was helping my dad uh, build a house uh, my brother and I and uh, dad for payment of that one Christmas bought me a brand new uh, Suzuki 125 and I absolutely loved it and I think I was 16 at the time and I I drove it to school I drove it to work I that was my mode of operation my mode of transportation rather until uh, until I uh, 
Yeah. Wendover is a state line right there at Utah, Nevada. Okay. Uh, so when I, I'm trying to remember when I, I think I was about 18. I may have been 17, 18. My dad bought me a truck. Because <laughs> they were so, still working on the house. Yeah. It took you a long time, right? It to did. build that house. It did. I was, I was in the house without my brother and sister for four or five years until I left home. So yeah. I, I, I got the, I was the recipient of, of a couple of brand new vehicles. <laughs> I was a spoiled young one. So yeah, Debbie, sometimes Debbie joins us and she will confirm all she, of that. She attests to that. Yeah. But so anyway, so for Daryl to get on the dirt bike the other day was like, it was, it was it, so familiar, yeah, right? It was like getting on a bike again, you know, like a, like if you've ridden a bike before, then you know how to ride a bike again. So if you've ridden a dirt bike, a motorcycle, then you then you know how to ride it. Yeah. And you had a good time. I did. It was a blast. It did you scare absolutely. yourself at all? I, I did a couple of times. Then I eased up on the throttle and I <laughs> took the turns nice and easy. That video of where Annie shot that video, I was going to a place where I could, you could probably turn a semi-trailer around real slow it was so large and flat so i just do a real wide circle around i didn't yeah. i didn't do those yeah. crazy quick turns i'm i'm past that skill set at my age yeah but it you had a super good time i did it was so much fun to get um to Okay, so what we need to do is probably get off the internet. Just take the Wi-Fi. Okay, so y'all hold on a minute. Oh, there we are. Uh, we're back. We forget to do that, you guys. We forget to take you off the Wi-Fi. When we when you have both the Wi-Fi and your and your uh, okay your cell coverage going, it tends to be a conflict and cause issues. So. Okay, is that better, everybody? People say your feed keeps freezing, but I think it just, I think the comments need to catch, catch up. up. yeah. All right, are we better? Okay, we hope we're better. We're gonna let you guys let us know. Oh. Okay, Sharon, are you on here? And let us know if we're freezing up. Has Sweet. it cleared up or are these old comments coming through? Yeah, let us know. Hope you're enjoying your family in Utah. Your porch looks really good. Oh, it, it does, doesn't it? So, so excited nice. about getting home. When we left, we left Clint a, a long list, and he texted us Saturday, I believe. List is completed. Then he, he sent another list that he's going to work on this week. So when we get home Tuesday night, holy cow, we're excited about what, so what has been accomplished. So. Yes. And then I got a notification today that the – oven and the stove is going to be delivered on Wednesday. Oh, okay. So that'll be great. Okay. Sharon said no freezing. Good now. Thank awesome. you, Sharon. Thank you, Sharon. So some of you are asking if it's cool here. Actually, it's kind of cool right now. It kind of cooled down. Yeah. It rained and it's cooled off. This evening it's cool. It's getting to about oh, 88, 90 during the day. Um, one, two, three o'clock and then uh, it starts out cool and it ends cool. So, yeah. Uh, Ramona said we look refreshed. We do. We are feeling, you <laughs> well, know. Well, thank you, Ramona. <laughs> We're pooped. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you pooped? Or I'm, do you from, feel from refreshed? The, well, from the motorcycle riding, I'm, I'm just kind of fatigued throughout the, oh. the, the shoulders and the arms. But guess what Daryl's doing tomorrow? Do you want to tell them what you're doing tomorrow? My passion my go-to the thing that i love to do is i'm going fishing with a buddy of mine that i fished with several times here in utah and several times back in alabama and, and uh anyway getting up really early and uh going up to a place called strawberry reservoir and uh, probably do some trolling out of his boat what do you probably <laughs> what do you anticipate catching trout trout yeah yeah so so it's the McChesneys. So if you, Brent McChesney and Bob McChesney, and if you're from Alabama or if you're familiar like with the University of Montevallo, Bob McChesney was the president of the university there for forever, the longest time. And then Brent is uh, so funny. I taught him like a Sunday school class, a Bible study class for 
a long time and anyway he's grown up and he's a man now and he's has this wonderful family but he played basketball with Daryl forever mm -hmm. so lives here in Utah so they're going fishing Bob and and uh, Brent, Brent tomorrow and myself so. so so fun all right so one of the videos that I do need to post because we've just been so busy with our little family and I know you guys have understood that but we have a video of Cooper riding his dirt bike we have videos of Sadie. Sadie rides the four a four-wheeler. Yeah. And Cash rides a dirt bike also. So we need to definitely get those, yeah. get those up for you guys to see. So it's, anyway, so cute. Now, Annie tried to ride a dirt bike, but Annie is only 5'3". And those dirt bikes, you've got to be probably 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", preferably in order to be able to touch the ground and save yourself. She could not. I could not her, touch the ground. Her feet were this far from the ground on either side. So she decided not to do it. Yeah, I decided not to. But if I could have touched the ground, I would have I would have tried it. Yeah. I would have tried it. Um, Donna said there's trout fishing in Utah. There sure, certainly is. Absolutely. I've been um, ice fishing with Brent up there at Strawberry one Gosh, I think it was a January. Wasn't it in January we yeah. went up there? Yeah. Freezing cold. Yeah. I've yeah. done that. I've done it once. Guess what? Guess how many times I'm going to go in my life? <laughs> One. I've done it, and I can say I've done it. Done it. I've got a picture to prove it, but I'm not going to go back was, to that. Yeah, yeah. So Janice says she's 5'3 also. I've shrunk. I've, I was 5'4 for the longest time, and then I went to the doctor last year, and they were like, you're 5'3. I was like, okay. Um, so Sherry said, when do your grands go back to school? So they go Wednesday. Wednesday. So we go home on Tuesday. They go back to school Wednesday, and I actually start Thursday. Um, so 2020. I had been telling you guys that I started on the 23rd, but... I looked at my calendar, it's really the 22nd, which is my favorite day. So how fun is that? So um, anyway, so that's when they go back and they are excited to go back. They're ready to go back. So, um, so Diane just asked about going back to school. Yep, I go back to school on Thursday. On Thursday. On Thursday. Right. Okay, so Patricia said, your daughter looks like your twin. Right? Yeah. So, so that was so fun for you guys. We posted the video. We had that sweet baptism. Sadie was baptized. It was so sweet. Um, and we posted that picture of our family. And so many of you guys said that Madison looks like me. And I don't know why, but I've always seen a lot of you yeah. in her. And then when I looked at that picture, I was like, you're right. You guys, we look a lot alike, me and Madison. So, um, Misty said she's four foot 11. Holy <laughs> smokes, that is little. And actually My Madison, goodness. her doctor, when she was young, told her that she probably would, wouldn't hit five foot. Mm -hmm. But she's she's like five one or so. Five feet one, five, we'll five have to one. ask her, yeah. She, she's a little bitty thing. Yeah. Rosalind says, yes, she is beautiful. She is. She's, and she's just the sweetest, you guys. She is, she is just the sweetest and such a good mama. Um, Robin said, Annie, you look sort of like Kathy Lee Gifford. A lot of people tell me that. I had never thought about yeah. that. I think Kathy Lee Gifford, I love her. Yeah. But I hadn't really thought about it until a lot of people, you guys have um, said that to me. So, um, Catherine said she thinks Madison looks like you. I I, I thought that too, Catherine. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah. She and I think Ashley has some of my traits as well. You know, Shannon, mm -hmm. I think is Shannon favors me favors a lot you. for sure. Yeah. Um, and someone said that she has a Madison, and she goes by Maddie, and she's twenty. Hi, Kristen. Um, sweet name. Do you want to tell everybody about the name? So Madison, Daryl's oh. like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Which name? Uh, so we struggled to, to decide on which. Did we know she was going to be a girl? I can't remember we if we were surprised or not. We, we weren't. Okay. So we didn't know what Shannon was going to be. Right. Because she's almost 39. Okay. 
We didn't know what Ashley, Ashley was, gonna was gonna be. be. And we did find out with Madison. So this was our third girl. Yeah. And we couldn't come up with we, a name. We could, we were going back and forth and no and yeah, well nah. And one day I'm listening to sports radio and, and there, there was a, uh, uh, a broadcaster um, trying to remember his name. Matt like, something. Matt, yeah, Matt. Yeah, that's right. And um, he said, yeah, my daughter Madison, yada, yada, yada. I said, that's it. So came home. I said, okay. We had, we had Madison's middle name is Elise. And we had, we had actually uh, decided on Elise. We liked mm -hmm. Elise. And, and uh, I sat Annie down. I said, okay, think about this. I'm like two weeks overdue, y'all. Yeah. Madison, she didn't care. <laughs> Madison was due November 11th, and Madison is 30. She was born in 92, so she'll be 32, right? Mm -hmm. So she'll be 32. So she was due November 11th. She was not born until December 3rd because 30 years ago, they, they would let you go over. So anyway, I'm big, big pregnant. We can't mm -hmm. figure out this name. Daryl comes home, and he says... Okay, have a seat and be open-minded because 32 years ago you guys I didn't know I didn't know I didn't know a Madison no we didn't and, know anyone and, named and Madison. everybody thought we were weird when we named her Madison but gosh there's Madison's everywhere now now yeah. my brother my sweet brother Mark older than me called me and he was like Annie Madison that is the name of a president of the United States James Madison anyway so <laughs> At so that point, I didn't really, I was like past, I was so overdue, ready to have this baby. And if he liked that name, I liked it. And she is, she is a Madison through and through. We love her. And that's not the, really the end of the story. And I don't know that Annie remembers this, but my best friend from high school that I'm still, um, we communicate all the time. His daughter had been born the year before and he had named her Madison. And he called me the day she was born, and it was early in the morning, and it didn't stick. And then I, I called him, and I told him about our Madison, and he's like, but I have a Madison. What are you talking about, Madison? I, you talking about my Madison? I anyway. know, Tim, my Madison. I have a Madison. <laughs> anyway, we were confused. I had him confused for a little bit, but uh, anyway, so Madison is a sweet little That's thing. sweet Madison. Yeah. Okay, so Robin's asking about my skin products. So basically, you guys, I use a lot of oil of Olay. I use, um, and really I just use a cleanser, and then I use just the moisturizer that is for sensitive skin, and that's what I use for my face. Um, Gosh, there's a lot of Madisons out there. A lot. It? Look at all this Madison. Yeah, I lived in Madison, Tennessee for over 30 years. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Cities called Madison. They're everywhere. Yeah. Um, Lots and lots of Madisons. That's so fun. That is. Anyway, so, hey, Mimi. You little sweet Mimi's Kitchen watching. Love you, sweet friend. Um, Wanda said, do we call Madison Maddie? We don't. We don't never Actually, have. we never have. We've always called her Madison. I think she has a friend that may call her Maddie, and I can't remember who, but, yeah. but we always call her either. We either call her Squirt because she's so small. Right. <laughs> and, so, Matt, Madison, she's so little, and... And actually, one of my, when I taught outdoor education, one of my teacher friends started calling her Squirt because she was so little. So we all call her Squirt sometimes. Uh, okay. Even so her husband people. calls her Matt. Matt a Squirt or Squirt is what we call her. Isn't that funny? Yeah. And she loves it. She goes, she yeah. has no problem. With it, She's so. so sweet. So, um, oh, one other thing. We actually hit 182,000 182, followers 000. today, you guys. It, it just blows our minds. We're, yes. We just can't believe it. We're just so grateful for all of you guys. Hey, Michael McDaniel. Good evening, sir. Hey, Nancy and Lenora. So, I, didn't, I didn't catch who asked the question, but they were wondering where Shannon lives. She lives in Williamsburg, Virginia. Right. So, so Shannon, we have a daughter. Shannon, our oldest, lives in Virginia. And she is, she's married to Matt, who's in the military. And then we have Ashley, who li Piper's mom, Piper and Luke's mom, and uh, they live just 20 minutes from us. And then we also have little sweet 
um, Madison, who lives in Utah. Okay, the balloons just went up. Did that happen because I did something? <laughs> Sherry said her nickname was Squirt when she was little. Oh, that's oh, sweet. Cool. That's so sweet. Hey, Althea. Um, is Madison's husband tall? Linda, he he's, is he's what? Probably five, about five ten, five eleven. Yeah, and that's probably pushing it. I think he's not quite that tall, but. Yeah. Anyway, they're, they're perfect for each other. Spencer is amazing. So great. Spencer has a couple of brothers that are probably three or four inches taller than him. Right. He is the oldest of the boys. Right. And in in the, anyway, they're, they're taller. And so all of our girls, so all three of our girls married the oldest. Child? Yeah. Oldest child. Yeah. Yeah. Of sure their did. family. So. Sharon said, which one of our daughters is the quilter? That's Shannon. Shannon. Shannon is the Bird. quilter. She's part of a quilt guild. She's she's just She's so talented. She's so talented. Does beautiful work. Amazing. Um, Cheryl said, and usually two thousand watch live every night. I know. Isn't that crazy? I know. I we kind of skipped past the the hundred and eighty two thousand, like we said, we hit that today and just like we said so grateful you guys we just we love our community some so while we've been here we've also been able to meet with some of our friends like old friends when we first moved to oh, alabama just these yeah. old wonderful I was talking friends to doug and I, I was telling him i went motorcycle riding and i was like doug i think the last time i went motorcycle riding was just before i met you and i met him when we moved to Birmingham in 1989. So I had, I had ridden late 88 was yeah. the last time I'd, so we've known Doug and Nancy for, since 1989. Uh, right, yeah. so we we met with Doug and Nancy and then also Kent and Janelle Van Campen and Trisha and Tracy Orr and anyway, so they were asking about our Facebook and our community because they watch it and they are following along too and they were like, they were just talking about like, they were just saying how sweet our followers are. And we were like, absolutely. Every once in a while we get a little comment that I, you guys I know don't like, and we know that someone's just maybe having a bad, had day. A bad day, had a bad day, but you guys are just the sweetest and we sure appreciate you so, so much. Um, someone said that they watched Mama Sue's daughter's house tour. Have you seen that? I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it, but when we get back home, it's one of the first thing I'm. I'm going to go over and take a personal Are tour. You? Cool. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go see Amy's house. Love, love, love them, and I'm so happy for Amy. Yeah. Beautiful home. All right. Wendy said, "My mom is 82 and is still making still quilts cool. and goes sewing every week." Look at that. That my mom is that age too, and she's she goes. She's a seamstress too she makes quilts too so much fun um all right let's see milagros gonzalez i'm i know i'm like not saying that right hello from kissimmee florida so that's where both of our daughters so shannon and ashley were born in kissimmee because we lived in apopka at the time uh, Nancy said she lives close to Williamsburg, just a few minutes from there when my husband was at Fort Eustis, which That's is where Matt's Matt is. At. Yeah. Matt's at Fort Eustis. So um, Kim said that she watched the tour too. Janet watched the tour. I know. I can't wait to go see their house. Yeah. Sean did a lot of work on that. Um, are you guys, I see someone talking about, let's see, that was um, Lynn. Do you guys love the mountains in the background? We were talking today, like, I don't know that I could ever get tired yeah, of looking at the mountains. Yeah, they're amazing. They're so beautiful. Um, so I've got some people asking about how did Mad Madison's family end up in Utah? This is Martha. So Spencer is from California and Spencer got a job with a company called Westland and they build schools here there's a big construction company and so he's a project manager on the largest high school in the state of utah right? largest high school in the state of utah so a job brought them here a good job brought them here and madison is um 
she just finished her MBA, or not MBA, but Master's in Family Counseling. Yep, so she's a mar mar marriage and family therapist. Yes, therapist. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. All right, so listen, it's starting to get dark, and we promised our cute little grands that we would read stories to them. We've got some Junie B. Jones stories to read, and the Piggy and Gerald books to read, which we love. So we just wanted to pop on and say hello. It's been, it's been a minute, right? And it's been a few days and we apologize. We haven't been here, but yeah, we are, we're getting worn out from these little ones. We're we loving love this, them though. We, we're loving our family time and it goes by so, so fast. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say good night to everybody and can't make any promises about tomorrow night, but Tuesday, let's see, our flight gets in about, it gets in pretty late, eight, yeah. eight o'clock Tuesday night. It'll be after nine by the time we get home tomorrow night or Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Tuesday night, apologize. But maybe what might be fun is if everything goes smoothly, we might walk through the house with you guys when we get home. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. We, when we get home, we'll, on Tuesday night, we'll walk through with you guys and we'll, there's so much. I think there's actually a lot that he's done that he hasn't told us about. Yeah. So we'll do that. So Tuesday night, we'll do a, a live with you guys walking through our house. Does that sound good? We're excited. Because we haven't seen the porch. We've gotten pictures. We showed you guys that. And there's fans and so much more going on. So anyway, love you guys so much. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your evening. And we're going to remind you to be stronger every day. Know that you can do hard things. And we will see you guys. Love you. Have a great night. Good night. Bye.